Hey everyone, it's uh, Ethan Ainsworth again. So I did a test stream this morning. Did not go as planned. The capture was fine, but uh, my audio can be picked up. Need a status update from Firehouse. A group so, of civilian agitators has been detained. Charges will be issued as needed. Um. The, uh, basically, I uh, finished the black cat thing. Not in the stream, but just after the stream. So I now have this awesome black suit that uh, Black Cat gave me, which is actually a, uh, a reference to the comic books, because um, in, in the comics, uh, Spider-Man had the symbiotic suit, which obviously he eventually got rid of, but he had the symbiotic suit while he was dating Black Cat, and Black Cat thought he looked better in black, and so she made him... Uh, she made him uh, a symbiotic suit, but it wasn't actually symbiotic it was a fabric, but it looked the same as the uh, alien costume he had acquired on Battle World. Yeah, sorry, um, we're gonna experience some LP packs. I swear I'm not bad at this game. <laughs> but, granted that I'm trying to come up with, like, stuff to say, I might not be spectacular, sensational, or amazing. So I'll, I'll do a little showcase of some of the costumes I have. But basically, yeah, I just wanted to uh, do some free roam things like that. I thought that would be, thought that would be fun. Yeah, pretty sure I didn't order any more Sable agents. Uh, in the comics, these uh, quote-unquote Sable agents are called the Wild Pack. Actually, in the stream earlier, where, um, I was, you know, the audio didn't work, I was talking about, like, why Silver Sable and Black Hat didn't have their own movie. But, um, that was all, that's all gone now. Got all kinds of cool little gadgets uh, on my web TV now. I don't have all of them though because I just haven't bothered to um, upgrade my web TV all the way yet. But I'll, I'll do that eventually. Anyway. So I'm 90% done everything in the game. Um, in terms of like collectibles and missions and stuff. Actually, let's go do some side missions now. I have most of the costumes. Uh, I got this one from collecting all 50 backpacks hidden around the, the world. It has really cool, I'm not gonna go through it all because I, I don't wanna spoil um, some of the cool little secrets and stuff, some of the cool little references. Hey, my Mark One web shooters. Managed to improve the storage capacity a lot since then, but the basic design's still the same. There's sort of like cool uh, references and nods to stuff that, um, that uh, is from the comics, like really old comics, 60 stuff. Because the idea is that uh, Peter Parker won like a science award and he was, award <laughs> he was awarded like a lifetime supply of backpacks. So there are 50 of them hidden around the city, or they're not so much hidden, but they're around the city. And uh, if you collect them all, you know, you get one, the collectibles, which, you know, is fun trivia, but you also get, once you've completed that, the homemade suit from Homecoming. Mixed uh, feelings on that suit. This is not it. This is a different firehouse, but the headquarters from the Ghostbusters films uh, can actually be found in the in the city in this game. This is a really cool suit. This is the spider armor, or just like his standard suit from the um, 2015 worldwide run of Spider-Man. But uh, the the spider glows, which is kind of dumb. It glows green, but uh, but whatever. Aside from that, it's really cool. This is a personal favorite of mine. Uh, one of one of my more favored uh, suits. This is the Ben Riley Spider-Man, or Scarlet Spider, I suppose. This is a cool one too. This one gives you the, the ability to insult your enemies <laughs> even more. You'll notice a cool detail with this wrestling suit is that he has the classic web shooters from the original like 60s books by Stanley and Steve Dicko. Um, 
Yeah, I won't spoil any plot details or anything. 2099 black suit. Uh, you may notice it's not black. <laughs> In the comics, it's said to be black. And you see those shiny bits on the arms and legs and back and front. Um, those turn black at nighttime, and so that's why it's called that. Uh, the unstable molecules, by the way, were created by Reed Richards of the Fantastic Four. Uh, not a big fan of the suit. I wore this suit throughout the entirety of the game, um, the main story anyway, and I switched it out for this suit when like I got in really brutal battles because I thought it was uh, thought it was fitting. Like when stuff goes to shit uh, near the end of the game, I switch to this one. Or I guess like a little over halfway through the game, I switch to this one, and um, it was it was good. I switched back to this eventually. But then when I got my ass handed to me again in a particular plot element, I switched back to the torn costume again. Uh, I really like, you know, sort of being thematic. Uh, this is the bulletproof suit. The spider armor mark II, as it's referred to here. Um, you can get the original spider armor, but I don't know how to get the other costumes. I think it only comes with a certain version of the game, maybe. Or maybe it comes with, like, this DLC over here. Like, uh... The other one, the silver lining one. Who knows? Anyway, if you're not interested in that. Everybody wants to see the rainy suit. Um, that's the big, the big sort of thing that happened. Like basically, the community for this game bullied um, Insomniac into into making the suit and releasing it for the game so they released it for free which is cool but, Ground teams, this is control. but um update from Firehouse. it probably doesn't set a good standard because it means that uh we can just bully them into doing what we want the thing is like they were probably going to release the rainy suit eventually anyway i'd love to see the suit from amazing spider-man 2 i think that suit's really cool it's fist tower um, maybe I'm insane, <laughs> but I could have sworn that I heard, like, the Daredevil theme song when I swung around certain parts of Hell's Kitchen here, from, like, the Netflix series, but maybe, maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm crazy. This is Naval Control. Need an update from Devil's Shelf. Over. APC Kilo starting patrol now. Eyes out for Spider-Man. Yeah, so they're looking for me. Um, there's a really cool reference. I don't know where it is. Uh, I'll, I'll find it. That's nah, Fogwell's gym. That's Josie's bar. Okay. Hold on, I'll show, I'll show you uh, something fun. It's not a spoiler for anything. It's just sort of a cool nod to the comics that I noticed and I don't think a lot of people picked up on. Because I haven't heard anybody ever talk about it. Sure is. Oh, by the way, here's the uh, Nelson and Murdoch, which is cool. Magnifique. Agents, this is Control. What's the situation in Longacre? Observation post established. No sign of priority target. What do you want? Okay. Right. Still looking for me. That's how we do it. Check it out. Can interact with the uh, citizens. Anyway, um, so that's Nelson and Murdoch, attorneys at law. Obviously, Daredevil reference. So this is a Daredevil reference too. Oh, you know what? Maybe it's only at night. Okay, so... Interesting. So this is Josie's bar. And um, at night, there was this, like a metal sheet. Like that thing over it. And um, I think that's a really funny reference to a comic book. Or into like the comic books in general. Because Josie's bar has like a running joke. Wherein... Um, Wherein, like, her window is shattered in almost every appearance that the bar makes by either Daredevil or Spider Man or some thug. Usually Daredevil, though. Um, and so I thought that was this funny reference to that, like, she was covering it with steel because uh, <laughs> it's, it's, her window's breaking constantly. Aw, all for me? I don't get any peace until I shut that down. Let's see if I can do it quietly. Let me, um, so I do have a stealth suit, uh, the big time suit.
so that creates a distortion field that makes me invisible to enemies. Um, and this stops enemies from this new R suit stops enemies from contacting each other uh, about a me. rooftop party for me with spotlights and everything. But obviously not, because it didn't work just then. It worked earlier though. Anyway. I'll switch to the Raimi suit because you guys probably want to see that. Um, those guys don't die, by the way. They get webbed. They get webbed to stuff before they hit the ground. The thing is, though, right? Like, the web does... <laughs> The webbing does dissolve in an hour, so if you would web somebody to the side of the wall of a building, like, like this guy's about to do. Like, see that guy just got, got webbed to uh, the building here. That webbing dissolves in an hour, um, in the comics, in the canon. So unless somebody like helps that guy, he's still gonna be street pizza. But I guess it's sort of like a, a, a good way to not implicate Spider-Man in murder, because he's always like, just push people off of rooftops in other games and nobody acknowledges it in any way but here they sort of like they try to um, excuse it with his kids because obviously Spider-Man would never just <laughs> do that This will teach Sable to focus on actual criminals instead of me. Yeah, too much. There's a lot of really, really fine detail in this game as well. Um, Spider-Man shoes, for example, have like very subtle scuff lines, like compressed um, rubber. Very, very solid work in this game. It's really polished. It's one of the most polished games I've ever played. And the city is alive and beautiful. And you can actually navigate the city really well based off actual New York. It's obviously not nearly the scale of actual Manhattan, but um, you can navigate it based off knowledge of real New York. And it's uh, this is control. Nice. What's the situation in the meatpacking district? Checkpoint is active. Full battle. Intruder alert. Spider-Man. <laughs> I should probably be wearing some sort of ballistics armor. <laughs> well, what's the fun in safety, man, right? You guys like your guns. Hey, -o. don't throw what you can't take. That said, I am whooping a lot of ass. Maybe not for long enough, I can't keep my health up. Yeah. Got stuck on that wall. Yeah. Over here. Oh, over here. That's uh the hollow decoy that hopefully they'll focus on instead of my face. Oh god. <laughs> Oops. Um. <laughs> really absorbs all damage is nice. Full pursuit. Ah. 
sniper was trained right on me. I should probably take out that tower. You have a gun. Let's get some spider bros. Uh, in the comics, fun fact about these guys. They're called spider bros. They're like little robots that help uh, Spider-Man out. But in the comics, um, they're actually used by Dr. Otto Octavius when he was Spider-Man during the Superior Spider-Man arc. And, um... They're like these little patrol bots, essentially. He becomes Big Brother, and he stalks everybody uh, in New York, and he has thousands of these things running around, monitoring crime for him. Total Big Brother. Glad scenario. Sable's after me now too. As if I didn't have enough to worry about. I'll uh, I'll refrain from. Um, spoiling the game. There, there might be little elements, you know, that are spoiled just by the fact that I'm playing the game. And you're going, you might see like some minor things, but aside from that, like you know that Silver Sable's in it, for for example, because her wild pack have been giving me trouble. It's a homecoming suit, by the way. Old Man Spider-Man uh, from the GMS run. The Iron Spider from the MCU suit, or from the MCU. And he has like really, you can actually use the arms and it's really awesome. Uh, Ghost Rider Spider-Man. Noir, as you saw, Negative Spider-Man. The Electro-Proof Insulated Suit. This, this velocity suit, I believe, is um, original to the game as well. This one I can't afford yet. I gotta take down another base. The black cat suit that she gave me, if you saw. Comic suit, wrestler suit, um, spider punk, spider getting. I have his first appearance. Fear Itself suit, which is dumb. <laughs> and so is Fear Itself. And the uh, Underwear Spider-Man, which you get from 100%ing the game. So I'm very close to getting that one as well. Uh, let's see. That should be wire. Um, ba 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 ba. Ground team, what's the status of our position in the West Village? Control, we are arresting civilians who refuse to cooperate with locate Spider Man. Are you now? What were you gathering? Target Spider Man. This is not how you protect or sir. Not in my friendly neighborhood. Bye, Felicia. Aren't I cool with the kids? Yeah. Take out the armed guys first. Go for the jetpack guys and then take out the weak on the ground. Last, if possible. Oh, it's a gunman. Ah. 
Oh, nice. Be doing it in this neighborhood for long. Three out of five. We're over halfway cleared out. No, nope, not a secret photo op. Statue of Liberty is though. That's the uh, Staten Island Ferry. Going in the wrong direction, granted, but uh, the thought was there. Oh yeah, this is another thing as well. Freedom Tower is all weird. Uh, I asked the developers why, and they didn't respond to me, so... <laughs> but it's like, um... Like, basically, it's supposed to look like an obelisk, in a way. And, um, it doesn't here. It does get narrower as it goes up. But it's got, like, this weird uh, upside-down obelisk shape going downward. And that's not a thing, like, it's just, it levels out once it gets to, like, this, um this dark blue part and also um, it, it's well you'll see when we get up there all units 1010 narcotic sale reported in progress I'm on it. Came in from Tribeca. this is all wrong like this rooftop in the trailer it looked accurate but like this whole thing isn't there. It flattens out and then there's like a circular piece on top and uh, that goes into the comm tower. But you know, whatever, I guess. For whatever weird reason, um, somebody was perhaps sensitive about it for some reason. And they changed it. It's gotten more aggressive post Fisk. Gotta stomp that out. Hey guys, what's going on? Al, those big guys you gotta watch you out for. You guys are like little kingpins in training. So cute. Shoot him already. Yeah. Ow. Ouch. Please stop. can't hit those guys unless they're stunned or you have webbing on them. Or I guess you, you can throw stuff on them. But you can't punch them unless they're uh, de in immobilized in some sort of way because they, they block. Bye. Drugs are maybe my most disliked criminal activity. Definitely top five. Or bottom five. However that works. Woo! Bursting around the city. So, oh, um, fun fact, like this is a lot of detail. This is a real apartment building. It's not even a significant building in the city, but the High Line runs through it. And it's a luxury apartment building in real life. So I'm, it's cool of them to add such detail. It's insane how much stuff they've crammed into this game.
Nope. Uh. What are you? That's a wall. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> this game is incredible. I was I was really scared it wasn't gonna be good. Um boy boy my glad it's not amazing Spider-Man 2 again. Hey guys! Those seem dangerous! Help me out. <laughs> no. Not nice. I believe uh, Ben Riley invented in the comics. Ben Riley, who was uh, the first successful clone of Peter Parker. Ah. Bye. Whew. Ouch. <laughs> Go, Spider Bro. Whoa. I'm gonna need a breather, guys. Okay, I'm back. Somebody down there, though. Cool that the uh, toes are split in the Ben Riley suit. Just another good uh, bit of attention to detail. So I'm going to switch out the power for the um, force field. I should get this. Let's see how, uh, how good it is. Concussive Blast. Hey, nice. <laughs> oh, I, uh, I, I did all the Taskmaster stuff, which is cool. Um, just like free roam side mission stuff. Not at all important to the story, but very fun. Ba -ba 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 -ba. All right, what do you say we do a side mission? Hired. Like heroes for hire? This is Sable Control. Do we have an update on the situation in Clinton? Control. Violation of Marshall.